Hey there everybody. Today I'm gonna show you how I wired up my train horn. It's really simple. Let's get into it. So first off, there's gonna be a link in the description for it. I got it off eBay for about 80 bucks. Got some wire conduit stuff. Had to get some wire, switch, relay, etc. I'll go through that later. You got two of them hooked up to positive. One for the actual switch for the solenoid on the horn, which lets the air out, and one for the compressor. Got the negative for the compressor. That runs back through, through the hole into the truck. Where by the floor here, we got the button that you can step on, and then you have the on off switch for the compressor, um, which is wired up over to the fuse box on the other side. So that means that the compressor won't run unless it's on accessory. Right? So I wired that back goes through there to the back seat under the back seat is where this guy is so the wires come in through here under the carpet got the air hose that goes out to the back of the bed got our relay hooked up right so we got our ground we got this guy goes to the compressor and then you got 30 battery coming in and then yeah so that's that. This thing holds about 100 PSI. And then this wire goes out. And it fits under there just right. You won't notice it. That comes out under here. You can see my wiring going all the way back. If I come over to the very back. Um, yeah, you see the train horn right there. It's a four tone. And it's got a little air coming in. The solenoid, the positive, the negative. The negative runs through under this side, uh, up in there, and then that goes up to the battery. And so you can activate the horn whenever you want. It's not like it's just drawing power out of nowhere. Go ahead and shut my hood and show you what it sounds like here. All right. I'm not going to run the compressor because I usually take the air out before I'm done with it just to be safe. And all the wires have been soldered, but... So that switch is just down there. You just put your front foot over it and... I don't know how well you can hear that, but if you listen close, it echoes too. So that's that. It's 150 decibels. I'll leave a link down in the description for this very horn. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm also going to like... For about 10 seconds, I'm gonna put up the exact wiring diagram I used. I'll probably link, leave links to the wire and everything else, but thank you for watching.